Heavyweight Championship fight between Khabib Nurmagomedov and Leon Edwards. Well, a long winning streak may guarantee you a title fight in other divisions, certainly doesn't at 170 pounds, but now with all the contenders behind him, there is one man left standing. It is this man, the number one welterweight contender, now getting his shot at the dominant champion, and he believes without a shadow of a doubt that he is the best 170 in the world, and he is out to prove it right here, right now. the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So three years, the gap in age between these two fighters with similar height and some differences in reach. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing us, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 18 wins, three losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Leon Rocky Edwards. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler. Holding professional record of 28 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle, Nimago Meda. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. The fighters touch him up. So here we go, round one of this highly anticipated tilt between the strong striker and the decorated grappler. 
Any chance that these guys mix it up, or are you just expecting them to stick to what got them to the dance? I'm expecting a pretty straightforward approach from both of these fighters. The striker will try to lead with his punches and his kicks, and the grappler will try to time a takedown, time a clinch position so he can start to work towards a lot of those great judo throws that he possesses. Once on the ground, he is in his realm and will start to chase submissions. For him here and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his grounded power. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back to position, build posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half guard. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your point. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. So as we pull up some numbers here, for you, 29 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Khabib. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand a strike with anybody in the UFC. Now he engaged the hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do. Right into side control. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Well, he's got his back now. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Nurmago Medov's right back to the full mount. Under two minutes now to go. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Nermago Metal. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hook back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. He's a tough arm bar now. Oh, we're getting to finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon.
Well, it's one thing to earn a UFC title. It's another thing to get it done emphatically the way he did tonight. The undisputed UFC welterweight champion, your winner by way of submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gage will stop in this contest at four minutes, eight seconds of the very first round. For the winner by submission, and still the undisputed UFC welterweight champion. So there he is. He came in the hunted. He remains as such. Congrats to the still UFC welterweight champion. Big effort out of the incumbent here tonight. He has so much pride in being the UFC champion, and you see it in the effort that he puts in retaining his title. One of the